Game 3 of the 2024 NBA Finals, Luka Doncic again showed us why fans refuse to fully believe in him. As down 3 with just over 4 minutes left in a must win, Luka attempted to take a charge at the 3 point line, was called for a blocking foul, and proceeded to lose his mind. And that's it, he's fouled out! Luka Doncic has fouled out with 4-12 remaining. The comments of this video are brutal. Bro really tried to take a charge at the 3 point line in the finals. Legit looked like he was having a mental breakdown on the court. It was at this moment that the Dallas Mavericks lost the 2024 NBA Finals. And this was not an exaggeration. Down two games to nothing, the Mavericks needed to win this game and they had a chance as they had just gone on a 20-2 run in the fourth quarter, but Lucas foul ruined their momentum. The Mavs lost this game, they lost the Finals in five games as the Celtics became NBA champions and the consensus was Luka Doncic was not ready. His defensive performance is unacceptable. He is a hole on the court. They have begged him. They have talked with him. They have pleaded with him. He is costing his team because of how he treats the officials. Now, after a huge lesson on the game's biggest stage, you would think Luka would have learned and come back better, except a video was recently made on Luka's defense titled, One of the Worst Defensive Performances You'll See. This game was recent and included two indefensible plays against the Utah Jazz, where in the fourth quarter, on one play, Luka just stands in place as Colin Sexton walks into a wide open mid-range jumper and then after a game tying Clay Thompson 3, Luka again stood in place guarding a ghost as Utah just simply threw the ball to John Collins for a game winning dunk. It's really simple, he is lazy. This is an immediate disqualification of MVP. Performances like these make me want to track if the offensive performance actually balances it out. Which we're going to do because Luka Doncic has gone from the NBA is a wonder boy, a man who is one of just three players in history to make the first team all NBA five times in his first six years, someone who just led his team to the NBA finals and the only player along with Oscar Robertson to average at least 28 points, eight assists and eight rebounds per game in his first six seasons to now the NBA's most controversial star. Some still see Luka as the future of the NBA. Others believe his complaining and lack of defense will result in a career similar to James Harden, a Hall of fame offensive superstar who could never get the job done and win a title. No matter what side you're on, one thing has continued to remain consistent and that is, unfortunately, Luka's weight gain during the offseason. So what's up, Mike here, and in 2021, we had the headline, out of shape, Mavs superstar Luka Doncic admits to issues with weight and conditioning. 2022, Luka Doncic was reportedly playing cards, drinking coke, and smoking cigarettes before Slovenia's loss to Germany. 2023, he needs to lose weight. NBA fans rip apart Luka Doncic for stress eating as a video of skinny Luka re-emerged. And finally, August of 2024, simply Dallas Mavericks Luka Doncic appears to be severely out of shape. A little shove to I, get I, that No, rebound. I will say, I, because, and I say this, especially because Luka's sitting over in the West. At this point, there is no denying it. We have a cycle here and Luka is paying the price. His numbers across the board for the 2025 season are down. He's averaging 5.8 less points, 1.6 less rebounds, and 2.2 less assists per game compared to last season. And his true shooting percentage has plummeted, going from 61.7% in 2024 to now just 55%, a staggering drop, which means we have to ask the question, are we overreacting? acting here, will Luka figure this out and go on to become a multiple time MVP and multiple time champion? Or is this what we're going to get from him? Is this what we should expect from him? Is Luka Doncic not taking basketball seriously enough to get the most out of his overwhelming natural talent? What's up guys? With basketball season starting to heat up, it is time to turn our attention to the sport that matters the most and today I have teamed up with DraftKings who have a brand new way to play daily fantasy sports. With DraftKings Pick 6, New customers who play $5 will get $50 in Pick 6 credits. Get in on the action right now and getting started is simple. Download the DraftKings Pick 6 app and sign up using code CORZEMBA. Select two to six players and choose if they're going to have more or less of a stat. Track your lineup and compete against others for a shot at huge cash prizes. Download the DraftKings Pick 6 app now. Sign up with code CORZEMBA. New customers who play $5 will get $50 in Pick 6 credits. That's code CORZEMBA only on DraftKings pick six the crown is yours
There is definitely proof for both sides of the argument here. I have consistently been one of Luca's biggest supporters, but that doesn't mean he's above criticism. It's actually because of Luca's unprecedented levels of production at a young age that makes us have to have this conversation. Luca has been the obvious best player of his generation when it comes to awards and stats. The four best young players in the NBA today with established resumes, not super young guys like Wemby, are Jason Tatum, Shea Gilgis Alexander, Anthony Edwards, and Luka. Among these four, Luka has more first-team All-NBAs with better career points per game, assists per game, and rebounds per game. Luka also has more win shares per 48 minutes, the highest box score plus minus, and the highest VORP. Jason Tatum has the championship, the most important award, but an award that is heavily team-dependent, especially during the early parts of a player's career where he has no choice at all where he is drafted. Looking at the leading scores for both teams in last year's 2024 NBA finals. After Luka and Kyrie Irving, the Mavericks were relying on PJ Washington, Daniel Gafford, and Derek Jones Jr., while after Jason Tatum and Jalen Brown, the Celtics had Team USA selections in Drew Holiday and Derek White, with all-star Kristaps Porzingis as their fifth best scorer. Quite a mismatch. But in these finals, even though the Mavericks did get demolished four games to one, even though I would say Luka did cost his team game three, it was Luka on the stat sheet who was the clear star even even with all of these flaws. Averaging 29.2 points, 8.8 rebounds, and 5.6 assists per game against a Boston Celtics team that in the regular season finished third in defensive rating. These are the kind of numbers, this is the kind of performance that usually indicates that a young superstar is almost there, that he's about to take the next step, the leap to greatness. And there is evidence that that happens, but again, the evidence here goes both ways. Historically, we have seen certain players take that leap after a performance like this. In the 2007 NBA Finals, we had LeBron's first chance to secure a title under the game's brightest lights only. He shot terribly and averaged just 22 points per game as the Cavs were swept by the Spurs. LeBron was just 22 years old in the 2007 season. He wasn't ready yet, we understand that. What's interesting though is that in LeBron's next crack at the NBA Finals with Hall of Famers Dwayne Wade and Chris Bosh on his roster, a now 26-year-old LeBron still heavily struggled. He averaged just 17 points eight points per game, less than Jason Terry on the Dallas Mavericks. It wasn't until LeBron's third trip to the finals where his greatness was fully unlocked. Anyone can say what they want about Luka. We could heap on as much criticism as we want, but at the end of the day, the stats don't lie. And the fact is he averaged almost 30 points a game in his first NBA finals trip, meaning he should be on the verge of true greatness. In fact, looking at the playoff numbers of LeBron James, Steph Curry, Kevin Durant, and Kobe Bryant from the ages of 20 to 24 compared to Luka, we see again, historically, Luka stands out. But continuing on here, when matched up in a battle of young stars versus Anthony Edwards in the 2024 Western Conference Finals, not to mention going against Big Purr, Luka not only led the Mavs to a 4-1 to series win, he was a true superstar in the process. He averaged 32.4 points, 9.6 rebounds, 8.2 assists, and 2.2 steals in those five games. He actually outperformed Ant in all of those categories as Anthony Edwards, before that series, was being hyped up as the next Michael Jordan, the next face of the NBA. If everything goes right for Luka, he should be that face. But it's here where we are going to switch things and look at the opposite side of the evidence. Where things can go wrong, and in 2018, James Harden almost broke through and solidified himself as a top three shooting guard of all time. He was seriously that close. In that 2018 season, Harden was named MVP after averaging 30.4 points, 8.8 assists, and 5.4 rebounds per game while the team he led, the Houston Rockets, brought the Golden State Warriors with Kevin Durant to seven games in the Western Conference Finals. The Warriors would go on to win the championship. The Rockets had more regular season wins that year, and they even led Golden State three games to two before losing both games six and seven. If James Harden took that series win, if he cemented a championship in that year, taking down Steph and Kevin Durant in the process, how would we look at him historically the answer is a lot different. Instead, since that Game 7 loss, he has had a circus act of a career. There's been claims he wore a fat suit to get traded from Houston. He abandoned the big three of Kevin Durant and Kyrie Irving. He called out Daryl Morey in public with this weird clip. Daryl Morey is a liar, and I will never be a part of an organization that he's a part of. 
James Harden's full potential as a player was never reached and he has not reached the conference finals since. But looking at this, from the ages of 23 to 30, James Harden averaged 29.6 points per game, 7.7 .7 assists, and six rebounds. These were on high level, high win Rockets teams as he also made six first team all NBAs in the process, two more than Steph Curry has in his entire career. At the end of the day though, no one cares about overwhelmingly elite stats unless you win championships. That is what defines a player's legacy. And in order to win championships, you need to play both sides of the ball. On offense, James Harden played at the highest of levels. But here's the thing, his on the court, off the court stats show us just how much James Harden was hurting his team on the defensive end. As if we compare those same ages and look at just Steph Curry versus James Harden's on the court, off the court stats, we see Steph had several seasons with net ratings above 15 with a high of 22.6 in 2016, while James Harden never broke a net score score of 10. Luka Doncic is unfortunately in this exact same camp. Looking at Luka's career as a whole, Luka's highest net rating has yet to break 10. Last year he did have 9.4, but this season it's down to 4.3. Shea Gilgis Alexander last year had a net rating of 11.4. This season he's up to 13.8. And the final boss, Nikola Jokic, has had a net rating of over 20 from 2023 to now 2025. That is what a true superstar does impact his team positively on both ends of the floor. And now in the 2025 season, Luca's numbers have taken a dip. His weight gain to begin the season again was disappointing and undeniable. I'll say as someone who wants to see Luca succeed and dominate that I wish he treated his body like LeBron does or like Kobe did. It's almost as if Luca's early success has been proof to himself that he doesn't have to go lift or go through some big cardio workouts throughout the off season in order to succeed. That just isn't the case. Look at Nikola Jokic. Look at his weight loss. Then look at the success Jokic has had since treating his body like a professional. That is what makes a tremendous difference. We do need to end this video with one hard fact, and that is the Mavericks were counted out last season. After a loss to the Bucks on February 3rd, they were just 26 and 23 and were fighting to stay out of the play-in game. At that point in time, it was not crazy to think that Luka was going to demand a trade. Instead, the Mavs became the league's hottest team and reached the NBA Finals in a season where nobody expected them to, and that is is because of Luka Doncic's greatness. He is still just 25 years old. The NBA world is at his fingertips. He still has the potential to make a massive leap. What he does next? is up to him. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. I think you're really going to like this video in the top left on Nikola Jokic or on the top right about how the NBA is just taking way too many threes. Please subscribe and turn on post notifications if you're new. If you're already subscribed, thank you so much for supporting. You are awesome. We all know it. And as always, have an awesome day and cue that music.